Hey there everyone, GameFox here. We're gonna go ahead and do another vlog today. We're doing another Pokemon Go themed one. Uh, it's community weekend, and today is the day that has the extra bonuses in America from 11 p.m. 11 a.m. PST to 2 p.m. PST for extra Stardust, extra experience, um, all sorts of stuff. So we're gonna try and catch some Dratini, some Chikorita. I'm gonna finally try and evolve a couple things, and you'll get to see how all that goes today. Hopefully Icarus will be there. Hopefully uh, my friends Medic and Baraki will be there. Sin's with me. I don't know if she wants me. <laughs> um, but we're gonna have some fun today. Get the doggy with us. Come on. Come on. You don't care, do you? No, no, you don't. Okay, so we just made it to the park that we wanted to go to, and it's actually a pretty good park. There's two gyms here. Nice. Hopefully we can catch a raid today too, that'd be awesome. But you guys can kind of see, there's a bunch of stops here. There's a raid that's actually gonna pop here in a little while. It looks like it might be a tier three, which is really cool. Um, I gotta get the dog out of the car. Uh-uh, wait, wait, come here, come here. Come on, come here. Come here, sit. Good. Hey, don't be a butt. I know, I know, life's so hard. So we've got the dog, she's all leashed up. I'm gonna try and get her jacket on once we sit down and I'm gonna get send her phone back so she can actually play for a little while too. Um, but I'll be checking back in with you guys every so often. I don't know if Icarus is gonna make it or not. Um, she said that she wasn't feeling too well, but we still got two other friends that are gonna come join us. Uh, somebody's already lured these focus off, so should be a good day. What's your problem? What's your problem? What is it? What's your problem? Ooh. No, you gotta stay here. Nobody wants to go play with you, I promise. A really nice park dog. So Sin just caught something pretty cool. I don't know how well this is gonna show up. She just caught a shiny Cyndaquil. And this one won't stop crying. I don't know why. But she's got enough candies to evolve it all the way. So we're gonna try it. It is a 576 CP. Okay, we also do this IV tracker thing. Come on. And it is a 61 IV. Ah, ah, ah. 
She's pretty good. So, she wanted me to go ahead and evolve it for her. So you guys could see what happens. Not that we don't already know what happens, but. Her first Typhlosion. It's freaking awesome. So now she's got 24 Cyndaquil candy left to power it up. It's a 1785, not bad. And with the amount of Stardust she has, well, actually she has like no Stardust. So while my dog freaks out in the background, we're gonna keep catching some Pokemon, but that's freaking awesome. Yesterday I caught a shiny Larvitar. I'm kind of hoping today I'll either get a shiny Dratini or a shiny Chikorita. So that's what I'm really hoping for. So while I was gone, not only did Sin manage to catch another shiny Cyndaquil, but she just found a shiny freaking Charmander. I can't believe her. It's absolute garbage, but it's a shiny. It's a shiny, shiny. And you can get your, you can power it up. You know what? You can sit there and you can just have a blast with this guy. Yeah, just power him up. <laughs> oh my God. Dog's tired now. Still squeaking. This is Sin's third shiny Cyndaquil. Are you freaking kidding me? You have tons of raspberries, so there's no point in not using them. Focus. Here we go. I know, I know, big dog. And then once we catch this sucker, I'm gonna go into Sin's freaking Pokemon box and show you what the hell she's been up to. I'm just gonna search shiny. This is what she has so far. She's got a shiny Charmander, three shiny Pikachu. She caught the shiny Vaporeon. Well, she got a shiny Eevee the other day. <clears throat> shiny Chikorita, three shiny Cyndaquils, one of which is a Typhlosion, which is pretty cool. Shiny Beldum, and she hatched a shiny one. Ah, Tacoma. <laughs> she hatched a shiny, why not? Jesus.
So at least two of the friends decided to come. Icarus, I don't think will be joining us, but we've got Baraki and Medic. Hi. Baraki's the one that's already caught three shiny Marie. <laughs> right? But it's been a good day. I mean, decent haul. I've already had to clear up my box twice. So that's always fun. And this one still won't stop squeaking. That's basically it. I mean, community days, or the not community day itself, but the, um, the event for extra XP and Stardust is almost over. Got about another 30 minutes before that's done. Oh, and actually, I did catch something cool. I didn't manage to get a video of it because I was walking to Tacoma at the time, but I got a shiny Marie. Finally, something, something I can show off. And uh, we're getting very, very close to getting that Ampharos. And it's a decent CP. I'm not gonna say it's anything great, but hopefully we'll get, uh, we'll get another one or something. Hey there everyone, GameFox here. I'm sorry it took so long to get to this video. That was recorded back in November of 2018. It is now January 12th, 2019. That's community day for Totodile of all things. And I finally just now got to editing and putting this video together. Long story short, I had something come up right after the community weekend and I kept putting it off and putting it off thinking, okay, well, it's been too long, it's been too long. But after the Totodile day, it kind of got my spark back and I was like, you know what, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and put that up anyway. So I tried to do a little bit of uh, a capture of the ev evolutions and stuff of everything that we got. We got a, a couple of shinies that I'll be showing off. Um, but for the most part, it's everything that was over around on Community Day. So Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, Chikorita, Cyndaquil, Larvitar, and Beldum. Um, we actually start off with uh, Bulbasaur. And I had a shiny Bulbasaur beforehand before community day and I didn't um, I didn't like the fact that it was such a low CP so I figured you know what let's go ahead and evolve this Bulbasaur actually get a good Venusaur out of it um, and I was really really ecstatic ecstatic, ecstatic with the CP range that it came out as um, I'm just gonna let this play um, 2330 is what that Venusaur came out to we then had a Charmander I had another Charizard that was pretty decent it was like a 24 something um, and this one ended up coming out to be really, really good. Um, 1389 on the Tremelion. So, but overall with the community weekend, I had so much fun. Sin and I actually go out and do 2457 is what this one came out to. Um, this Blastoise was absolute garbage. So I wanted to go ahead and try and get a better one. Um, which is why I went shiny hunting. I went shiny hunting for Squirtle and ended up not getting one, which kind of sucks. Um, but anyway, Sin and I actually go out and do Pokemon Go stuff a lot. And recently we've been doing a lot of stuff with Let's Go on the Switch on Twitch, which has been a lot of fun. I'm currently naming Pokemon on Let's Go after subscribers and regulars on Twitch. But if you guys have been a subscriber, 1975, not that great. If you guys have been a subscriber on this channel for a while, um, come by on Twitch, let me know, and I'll go ahead and name a Pokemon after you too. Um, I was hoping for that shiny Dratini. It never happened, unfortunately. Tried so hard. I think I caught more Dratinis than anything else on Community Day, which is kind of weird. I mean, between that and Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur was also a really high one that I caught. Or a high quantity one that I caught. And this is my first Dragonair, my first Dragonite. I'm really excited. And this is officially, I think it's one of my two highest CP Pokemon. 3042. Amazing. Uh, the next one that we worked on was Chikorita. I never got the shiny Chikorita. Sin has one that she's willing to trade to me, which is nice. Um, and we're almost best friends on Pokemon Go. The funny thing is I'm best friends with Mike on Pokemon Go and not best friends with my wife on Pokemon Go. <laughs> um, 1266. It's not that much better than the other Bayleaf that we had, which was a 1201. Um, but I went ahead and evolved it anyway. And it ended up coming out to be a pretty decent Meganium. And I'll tell you what, Meganium is one of my favorite Final Evolution starters. Um, I think that I always go with Charmander, but Bulbasaur is actually my favorite and of the first gen. And then I think Bayleaf after that is my next favorite. I caught the shiny Cyndaquil, super excited about it. I decided not to evolve it, even though I have the candies for it, I think, um, because I, it's too low. I caught two shiny Totodiles today on Totodile Community Day. Um, so I evolved the higher one, which I think was like a 677. You guys can go back at the video and look, I wasn't paying attention. Um, so we get a shiny Feraligator. Awesome. And the cool thing is the first two Totodiles that I 
caught were actually hatched. And so I had a bunch of candies from that. So that helped me a lot. So I'm actually able to do two evolutions and get a much better for alligator um, on a regular totodile. So I think this one probably came out in like the 24 range. But now I've got two beastly for alligators. I'm going to use what's left of my candies for totodile to power up the shiny quite a bit and see what we can get there. Um, and if you guys ever have questions about that, comment down below. Let me know. Let me know what kind of... CP oh, 22. But that was still really good, considering. Um, so yeah. For all get Today's Totodile one was completely spur of the moment. We had no plans on actually getting up and doing anything, because we were up all night and did not get the chance to sleep. Uh, I'm just scrolling through here. I don't know why I didn't cut this out. Oh, look! I have to heal my... Oh, this is why. Okay, so this is about where the capture falters. Um... It kind of, it stopped working for a bit, and then when I get down to Beldum, it cuts off. And I was using a, you know, a third-party capture software off the phone. It was free, which is nice, because all the other ones that you find, you have to pay for. So there's the Beldum. I also have two Deoxys that I've got from X-Raids, which, which you saw one of them. I did end up choosing to evolve the Shiny Beldum, which you can see here. It's Shiny Metagross. I had a couple of other things that I evolved after this as well. We have, um, I think the next one was Ampharos. So we've got Ampharos. I have a shiny Mareep. I decided not to evolve it because it was too low CP. This one came out much better at 2232. Then we've also got this Tyranitar, which I evolved. It wasn't my shiny Larvitar, um, but it's much better than the one that I got from a raid. Let me get out of the way there. <laughs> um, so there was that. And overall, these are all of the shinies that we got over Community Weekend and overall. So... I think our shiny box is looking pretty good. But I'll tell you what, I have a blast with these Pokemon Go vlogs. I'm hoping to do more in the future, maybe on another community day, or if they do another huge community weekend like that, I'll do I'll do one again. Or if they bring out another uh, raid boss that I'm really interested, <clears throat> another raid boss that I'm really interested in going after, uh, maybe we'll go after that one too. I, I still am sad that I haven't gotten a Mewtwo yet, but supposedly they're gonna bring the Mewtwo's back soon. So who knows? Um, things that also aren't shown here right now, I've got four Lugia and three Ho-Oh, one of which I traded to Mike in order to get a Zapdos because my happy butt hasn't gotten a single legendary bird outside of Lugia and Ho-Oh, and that was on the second go around for raids. So Pogo, <laughs> it's a tiny obsession of mine. Would you like to know more? You can always check out the links below. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up. Um, I believe Discord's link is in there. If not, then I'll go ahead and put a link for Discord down below and you guys can come chat with us. I'm always posting about what I'm doing on uh, Pokemon Go there. But um, I'm sorry it took so long to get this video out. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a comment, leave a like. I'd certainly appreciate it because it lets me know how I'm doing. Don't forget to subscribe for more fun content. And other than that, you guys take luck and care and have a wonderful day.